Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. So uh, I've noticed everybody loves the fossil videos. So uh, I was thinking about I could either do a little clip of some fossils at the end of the videos, or I could do a whole day once a week where we look at the fossils. So if you want to do a comment or um, something in the, in the um, comments below, let me know what you think. If you want a whole day, we can have Monday fossil day or Friday fossil day, something like that. Or uh, I could do a little sneak peek at the end of each video. But uh, I think fossil, one of the a fossil day would be quite cool. But uh, yeah, let me know in the description if I get loads of comments saying, yeah, we'll do it. I'll, I'll give it a go. So yeah, we'll crack on with some jobs today and I'll see you in a bit. Hello everybody, so it's Thursday and I've finally got the stuff I ordered for Tuesday. <coughs> so we've got the cabin kits, they've finally come, so we can make stuff like that, caves and stuff. Um, and finally the walnut tank has arrived. So it's the first walnut tank I've ever built and ever sold, so it's only ever been the oak and the blacks. So. Uh, so yeah, first walnut, so we can have a look what that looks like. If they're nice, I might dabble in some myself. But um, yeah, we'll crack on building that today. But someone's got to collect their cabin kit. And then we'll have a look at some of the animals. So I thought we'd have a check on some of the arrivals from yesterday. And uh, look at that. He's out on his little rock, uh, on his little piece of wood basking. So uh Yes, yeah, really well. He's out and about. Look, he's white boy's eating up, so he's having a little bit of a bask in the middle. Uh, so this is the citrus um, bearded dragon. He's fully gone into shed now, so his whole tail's gone and he's starting to shed. So, yeah, he's doing really well. Really happy with him. And I've got a little clip of the one I took home, how he fell asleep last night, because it was so cute how he fell asleep. So, uh, yeah, we'll have a check on it. Um, uh, everyone else who came and some of the other animals and uh, we'll check on the the young one who's out as well the uh, the the new corn who came we'll have a look on her as well hello everybody I'm just checking on the animals that have arrived and uh, look how he's fell asleep he must have had an So there's the walnut tank, not quite finished yet, still got to do all the electrics. So I like doing the electrics upside down like that and then putting it all on in one go. Trying to put the electrics in through the glass and upside down, it's so hard. So I always think it's do all the electrics outside, then put the lid on and it's done then. You've only got to put the wires through the holes. So uh, yep, yeah. so that's for the Horsefield Tortoise. And then you got the one I built below yesterday. So yeah, we're uh, pumping out some tanks. And we got another one arriving Tuesday for a leopard gecko that I've got to build. So yeah, nice whacking out the tanks lately. So we have a little update on our emperor caterpillars. I think they're emperor. Yeah, emperor caterpillars. So they love the plant with the tree we put in there, the leaves. So it didn't have to be um, oak leaves. So yeah, they're munching them like no tomorrow, which is nice. We'll have another, see if we can spot any more of them. Whoa, that's the big boster that is. 
So he's probably going to go into his little cocoon first. And then my plan is, so you can see where they've been eating all the leaf. So the plan is, once they've gone into their pupae's, and they're uh, going to turn into butterflies, then we're going to put them into one of the chameleon tanks, and then uh, we're going to watch them hatch out and raise them up in uh, in the uh, what's they called now, Reptor Breeze tank. So I think that'd be cool. We can do some videos on them then. And maybe try and breed them or something. I don't know how it works. But we can have a go at trying doing different stuff. Always like trying something new. Learning about new things. So yeah, these are Thai Emperor Moths. T-A-U. Emperor Moths. Here we have the walnut tank. All finished. So you can have a look at the difference between walnut and oak. I have to admit the oak is nice, but I'm coming around to the walnut. I mean, look at this. Oh, I really do like the walnut. Really, really nice. Proper looks like wood. I don't know, I don't know if it is wood, but you know what I mean. It proper looks like a nice bit of sliced, bit of pine or something. But lovely, lovely piece of wood. Um, so inside, we've got the ceramic bulb. We haven't got a cage around it because it's a tortoise, it's a baby. But we have got plans, as soon as it gets to a reasonable size, the cage is going on. Because at the moment, it's gonna, there's no way he's going to get to the bowl, because it's a tortoise. But as soon as he gets bigger, he may be able to. So she's, she knows she may have to go for a cage afterwards. Well, that's a better look at it. And we've got the UV lighting. So they didn't have the pro kits, so we've gone for the controller and the um, separate bowl. So she's gone for, it is... We've got 12% UVB, uh, and I think it's jungle, no desert again. So, yeah, that's what we've got for the tortoise. So she's going to come and collect it tomorrow. There's her thermostat. So she's got all the electrics. She's going to have her substrate and everything. And then she's going to have the tank for 24 hours. And then once it's warmed up, she's going to come and get her, uh, her tortoise. So that'd be nice. And then we're going to set up another one next week for a leopard gecko. So we've got to check and feed on the mantises because we've had all the fruit flies come. Um, I'm going to have another check on the beardy because he's shedding and we want to make sure he's shedding right. So uh, you see it's coming off his tail. Look at the colours on his tail. So I'll try and get a closer look on that for you so we can see some of his colours. Um, and then Euromastex is already gone. Um, I showed you the little clip of we caught what's it called sleeping earlier. That was so cute. That was the, that was last night. That was about about twelve o'clock before I went to bed when I was trying to get the photos of the um, our, uh, the Toke Gecko because it's the first time he came out last night. Um, I have got some tiny clips of him, but it was hard because I had to set up the GoPro in there. As, as soon as I moved, he was gone. So I had to set the GoPro up in the tank, wait for me to move, well, to him to forget that I was there. And it was funny as well, if I turn the telly off to do, it, to, do, to do the filming and go up there, he would run away. And if I sat there with the TV off, he still wouldn't come out because he knew that I was coming. So I had to like put the TV on, act normal, and pretend that I weren't trying to film him, and then he came out. So it's a clever little lizard he is. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you that in a sec, and then um, I'm going to have my dinner, and then I'll be, uh, and I'm going to show you a little fossil clip from at home, so as I know you like some fossils, so I'm going to show you a little clip of, um, I might get all my fossils I've collected over the years, and uh, put them all out in the garden for you so you can see what I've collected over the years. Uh, and then maybe on another video, I'll show you my collection of high-end, like all my really cool, proper, proper dinosaur fossils. So, uh, yeah, that'll be cool. So I'll, uh, I'll see you at home. So I've just come to check on the really pink orchid. And what the hell is that? I've just fed her a couple of locusts. But, uh, yeah, she's literally, she shed, not yesterday, day before. And I don't know what that is. I've never seen anything like that before. I don't know if it's part of her insides coming out. I don't know if it's part of a bad shed. 
But uh, we'll get one of these out because I didn't want only wanted one in there. But uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell's happened there. But yeah, it's another thing I can't sell. She's gonna have to stay here with me now until that's sorted or the worst thing happens and she doesn't make it, so. I'll keep you informed how she gets on, but I don't even know what that is, I'm afraid. So this is one of the uh, violin mantises I was telling you about. They're so hard to get a good bit of footage of them because they're so dainty. Yeah, I'm just about to feed her some fruit flies. So yeah, we're going to trick them in and see how she gets on. We don't want to put too many in. So I literally just opens the corner, give them a little tap. Uh, come on, flies. There we go, that's enough. So there's a couple in there crawling around. We can see we don't want to go too mad. So we'll uh, put the lid back on. And then that's one orchid fed. No, not orchid, one violin fed. It's so hard to get any kind of picture of her, especially through the cup. So here is our little stunner. Let's see if we can get a good look at the colours on his tail, shall we? There's orange, yellow, a bit of green. They should have all, you can see the, the colours trying to come through the shed. There's going to be blues. There's going to be yellows, oranges, reds. He's going to be a cracking lizard, he is. It's going to be hard to sell him, it really is. He'd make a great stud breeding male. He's got a bit of growing to do yet, but he could do it, I reckon. Yeah, I don't want to mess with him because he, he, he's still settling in. So, uh, and he seems to like his little spot. So, leave him there chilling for the rest of the day now. And then uh, he's got some locusts bobbing around in there, and we give him some fresh veg. There's a locus. He's got some fresh veg, and then he'll be sorted then till tomorrow. So I hope you like the uh, little clip of the tokay. I had to fast forward it because it took took about 20 minutes for him to just move that tiny little bit. So I've speeded it up and clipped a load of it out for you so you can get a clip of him just, that's how, how much he came out and when I went over he just shot over and went all the way to the other side. So uh, I'm gonna lock up now, head home, and then um, we'll have a look at some of the fossils and that'll be the, uh, that'll be the video for today. So uh, I'll see you when I get home. Hello everybody, so I've made it home. I thought we'd have a look at the fossils. So what I've done is I've got everything I've, when I've been on my expeditions and stuff like that, I've collected them all up, put them in a pile so we can have a look at it, all the ones I've been working on. Um, there's some that I've been chiseling, some that I haven't, some that I've been weathering and stuff like that. So I'll show you them as well. Um, yeah, let's have a look, shall we? So there we go. My garden is literally just big enough so I can get it all in shot. Just about. Literally. I'm at the wall, trying to get it all in the shot. <clears throat> so that's what we got the other day, when we saw all together, <clears throat> and that little bit as well. And these are the ones I've gone on other trips to different places, and stuff like that. So these are some nice ones. It's not everything I've ever found, because a lot of them I've used in the shop, in for decor, and there's, there's loads in the shop. Um, there's loads I've used um, in people's vivas and that, when I've been doing setups for them. Um, this is a nice one, it's covered in crystals. There's one I had from the beach, it's all more shelly. There's another one I had from the beach. Um, now these are ones that I've been doing my chisel work on. So none of that fossil there was exposed. And I've managed to chisel it all the way back so it's gone 
all the way from here, all the way up and over to the back I have. And you can see that's where I've stopped because I started, started to merge into the rock. So at that point you stop chiseling. And then you wait for a bit and then go back to it another day. So you can see I've been trying to practicing on this one. I was aiming to get this little bit out in the middle here, but it's so hard to get. Now this is the one where I've had a bit more practice. And you can see there's the fossil sticking out proud and it was completely submerged and I've lowered the rock and stuff like that. Um, that's a nice one. All covered with fossils. Uh, that's, a, that's a big piece of coral there. Um, some more little bits. That's cool. I like this. I really do like this bit. Most likely a bit of coral. Or a uh, miniature unicorn horn. That's the only other thing it could be. A bit of coral or a baby unicorn horn. Uh, <laughs> oh, so those are the most common ones. I oh, get the bigger ones. I do like them, I have to admit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to treat you to my biggest crystal that I found while I was at, while I was looking for all these. So it was on, I was on the expedition when I found this one. So there's loads of bone, oh sorry, there's loads of bone and stuff in the rock. But this is really, really hard rock this is. But at that place there was crystals all going up the mountain. So I'm going to bring my big crystal out so you can have a look at that. So this is my big quartz crystal. Oh. So we had him out of the rocks we did and I left him outside to weather. It helps get all these dirt, this dirt build up out and shows more of the crystal. You can see it's heavy, bloody weighs a ton. So hiking this out was a proper mission this was. Trying to get this off the off the uh, the river side and up, up to the car and into my bag. So yeah, it was a proper adventure that was getting this bad boy. But yeah, it's one of my favourite crystals. It's quartz crystal, commonly found with gold and stuff like that. Um, yeah, no, no gold in this though, so else I'd be smashing it up. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'd show you my big crystal. Um, yeah, I think that'll be it for today. Um, if you want to watch another video of mine, um, there should be a box there. If you want to subscribe to my channel, then there should be another circle uh, circle there. Um, thank you very much to everyone who likes, subscribe, comments and shares. Um, I appreciate you very much. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye.